Hey everyone and welcome. As we all know, whenever a fact is released and any debunking goes on, <laughs> it's immediately called conspiracy theory, isn't it? And we've also seen that the conspiracy theorists are right on pretty much everything and the ones that are calling people conspiracy theorists And I do believe that we have rock, rock politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Are wrong on pretty much everything. <laughs> so it seems that conspiracy theory is the new name for facts. <laughs> well, it seems, it seems, it seems that another conspiracy fact is being shown on a daily basis. This time we're going to be having a look at Canada and the Netherlands and also the World Economic Forum because everything seems everything bad i should say seems to stem back to them doesn't it now i had this brought to my attention canada infiltrated by the wef it's had morphed those vaccine passports into digital id from october 2022 starting with air canada tracked controlled and punished if you fail to comply they didn't set you free they enslaved you to the whims of government forever <laughs> fools so i thought i'd have a quick look into it and find out what she's talking about and it's pretty much true i did find this that it's full of spelling mistakes so i think it's a mock-up by other people but it does say it all air canada proudly presents a collaboration of air canada the canadian government and the world economic forum for a new digital official ID program coming October 22. You can now pre-order your digital ID for this August. Woohoo! Everyone's going to be queuing up for that one, aren't they? The sheep to sign themselves away. So I thought we'd have a, a quick look at what actually this is. Now, it is being reported in the media. Western Standard have reported on it. Canada, one of two countries participating in WEF travel digital ID pilot program. Now, if you think that it's just because of travel, like they're trying to make out and it's all safe and it just makes things a little bit easier, I thought I'd bring your attention to the World Economic Forum themselves. Working at World Economic Forum's consortium launches paperless Canada-Netherlands travel pilot. Montreal, Canada. June 2019, so this was arranged quite a while ago, the World Economic Forum and the Government of the Netherlands and Canada launched the first pilot project for paperless travel between the two countries today at Montreal Airport. Now it sounds fine so far, doesn't it? But when you get further and further into this, you realise just what this is. Known traveller digital identity, as they call it, KTDI, is the first platform to use a traveller managed digital identity for international paperless travel. It will be integrated with partner systems and tested internally throughout 2019. Well, it's actually 22, but it's now coming into play with the first end-to-end -end paperless journey as in October, apparently, expected to take place in early 2020. So they missed that one. Canada is pleased to collaborate with the World Economic Forum, they said, the government of the Netherlands and the industry partners to en enhance aviation security. Does anyone want the government to make you feel secure? Considering what they've done to make us feel secure recently, I think not. And make international air travel safer by testing new and emerging technologies, said the Honourable Mark Gunnell, Canada's Minister for Transport. The known traveller digital identity pilot project will help facilitate seamless global air travel and benefit the world economy by enhancing the traveller experience while ensuring that cross-border security is maintained. This KTDI pilot project is a perfect example of the importance of public-private partnership in implementing innovations in the aviation sector. What they mean by public-private partnership is state and corporation being lockstep hand in hand there is a name for that in implementing in innovations in the aviation sector and border management and i am honored that we are engaging in the pilot from the netherlands said anki broke no <laughs> i don't know if that's how you say the name but that's as good as you're getting minister for migration in the netherlands now Obviously, people people will be saying on the left, well, it's just for travel. It just makes it easier. It's just for free movement of people. Well, we've seen what that does for one, but it isn't that at all. Let's have a listen to what KTDI technology actually is, shall we? KTDI is based on a interoperable digital identity linked directly to government-issued identity documents, i.e. e-passports or 
papers, please. It uses cryptography, distributed ledger technology, and biometrics to ensure portability and portability. Do you want people walking around with your biometrics? <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely, this is social credit score through the back door, isn't it? Wrapped up and bowed with nice fluffy words that people are going to fall for, like security and safeguard and privacy. Absolutely ridiculous that giving all of your information and biometrics to private companies and the state is going to improve privacy of personal data. Absolute rubbish. The system security relies on a decentralized ledger platform. Oh, so they're going to be sharing out all over the place that all partners can access. Your partners, not our partners, your partners. This ledger provides an accurate, tamper-proof record of each traveler's identity data and authorized transactions. You hear that last part? Authorized transactions basically means this will allow you or disallow you from making transactions of any sort. So for now, it will probably be you're not allowed to fly because you've said some word, hurty words. You're not allowed to fly because we don't agree with your politics. We're not, you're not allowed to fly because you're wearing the wrong pair of shoes. You see what I mean by that? That's authorized transactions is the precursor to a social credit scoring system that will be rolled out across the board. So Canada and Netherlands, Thank you very much. You're the test bed. I hope it fails miserably. And I hope, I hope, I hope that the world sees it for what it is. China Mark II. Improved by the World Economic Forum. This is their website and their words, everyone. Shocking, isn't it? Let, let everybody know. Share it out. By the way, I've been banned off Twitter. <laughs> Finally been banned off Twitter. I don't know how I managed to, to go so long. So please follow me on my getter and my gab, because that's where you'll find all of the links to any of my new content. <laughs> oh, and also the website. Stay sane, everyone. I'd like to know your opinion on this one. I'll see you on the next one.